Hello and welcome to my channel. Nice to see you again. Today I want to talk a little bit about my distro, why I use this distro and how I use the distro. You can see in the background it's Debian. You're right. So stay tuned. This is what I see when I boot up my system. It's nothing spectacular. It's almost plain and vanilla GNOME, but there are a few tweaks. There are a few extensions I use. There is another icon set and I changed something in the sources list. So come with me and have a look. This is the GNOME desktop. How I hated GNOME before I got used to it. It was the worst thing I could imagine. But when I tried it and get used to it, suddenly I changed my mind. Now I think it's pretty good. This is the default wallpaper. Let's have a look at the GNOME tweaks first. In my opinion, it's very difficult to work without the GNOME tweaks. I don't do much with that, but the things I do are necessary for me. Tweaks are pre-installed in Debian 11. I changed a few things in the appearance. I have Papyrus Dark as an icon set. I have Adwaita Dark because I want a dark theme and I use a few extensions here. Here is Dash to Dock. You can see that here. And the second one is the window list. You see down here. That shows me all the windows that are open. I need that. And I like that. Dash to Dock hides if I touch it with any window. What you can see here is not my system because I use the German language. But I rebuilt that in a virtual box. So it's almost the same as my system, but with English language. I don't like the file manager in GNOME. So I decided to use Kaya instead. This is the Mate file manager. And it looks like this. Kaya is in the Debian repositories. So it's very easy to install it on your system. I like to use pure Debian, but there are some very good distros out there which are based on Debian. I made a video about that. It's up there. Why do I use Debian? Yeah, because it's stable. What do I mean by that? I don't mean that it doesn't crash. That's a good thing. But for me, stability means no change. I don't want any change in my system. I used Arch Linux almost two years as a main driver. And as much I liked it, yeah, I loved it. But it was too fast for me. What I love about Debian is I know my system will be the same in two weeks, in two months, in a year. And I like that. As I said, I don't want change on my working computer. It's fine in a testing system, but not on my main machine. Debian 11 was released in the summer 21. And so the packages are as new as they can be in Debian. That's enough for me. If I need newer software, I use sometimes flat packs. But for now, all is there I need. There is GIMP, there is OBS, there is LibreOffice and some other nice applications. As I said at the beginning, I changed the sources list. I activated the contrib and the non-free packages in Debian. How you can do that? There's a video on my channel. Please check it out if you like. So as I said at the beginning, it's nothing spectacular. And that's what I like. I don't want change, as I said. Okay, the move to the GNOME desktop was quite a challenge for me. I always used Mate. I used Mate with Ubuntu, with Arch Linux, with Linux Mint. And I loved it very much. My wife uses Linux Mint Mate. Yes, you heard right. Of all the Linux users all over the world, there's 1% women. And my wife is one of them. That's cool. As I said, she uses Linux Mint Mate and she's very happy with that. But back to Debian. 
if the stable version does not deliver what you need or what you want, you can check out testing, you can check out SID, you can check out the back ports, or you can use flat packs or even snaps if you like. In my opinion, Debian is one of the most important distros out there. Without Debian, there would be no Ubuntu, no Linux Mint, no MX, no Sparky, no Seduction, you name it. Why do I use Debian? Because it works. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.